Welcome to the inaugural episode of Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro. I am going to show you how to make expert cocktails at home, and we're going to cut out all the mambo jumbo. It's going to be simple, it's going to be great. However, I am going to show you a little bit of finesse. I'm going to add a little bit of swagger to your cocktail so that you can impress your friends at home. Before I do that though, let me talk to you a little bit about myself. I was classically trained in Europe, bartended in Italy for nine years in some very cocktail-centric establishments. Then I moved to Vegas in 2000, where I've been helping some of the most gigantic beverage organizations make better drinks. For this first episode of Master Your Glass, I am going to make a Negroni cocktail. There is no more simple cocktail, yet there is no more confusing cocktail because everybody has their own little twist to it. We're gonna make the classic one the way people drink it in Italy. So I'm gonna take my glass, fill it with ice, all the way up. Make sure this drink is nice and cold. In 1865, Florence becomes the capital of Italy and their favorite cocktail of the American tourists was called the Mito. Milano for Campari, Torino for Vermouth, and soda water. And that was called the Mito cocktail. The Americans enjoyed it so much that at some point, the name just evolved to the Americano. So we're gonna go ahead and make this today, and, um, but we're gonna talk about the variation, right? So the Americano evolved into the Negroni How. What happens one day is a very happy incident. A gentleman by the name of Camillo Negroni goes to his bartender, Fosco, and says, Fosco, do me a favor, would you please add some gin to my Americano cocktail. So, having said all that, ingredient number one is going to be one ounce of gin. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Many bartenders will make this drink in a beaker, they'll make it in a shaker. This drink is built over ice. Ingredient number two is Campari, which is a bitter, slightly sweet uh, aperitif made out of Italy. And last but not least is a fortified wine called Sweet Vermouth. Now, as I mentioned, this is a fortified wine. So it should stay in the fridge once you put it back. Okay, we've added one ounce of gin, we've added one ounce of Campari, we've added one ounce of sweet vermouth. The reason why I made it in that order is because I went from lightest ingredient to heaviest ingredient. And what that does is when it's time to stir, which I'm ready to do, it's gonna be easier to mix all these ingredients together. A little scoop up and a little turn. All right, we're gonna set this cocktail right here. Now, when it's time to garnish this drink, another authentic story comes into play. A lot of times you'll see bartenders give you an orange peel and give you a little zest on it. I really like that. However, the authentic garnish, which came with Florence, was the orange slice because it was the way they differentiated the Americano, which had a lemon, with the Negroni, which had an orange. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this orange, I'm gonna give it a cut right there, right, right in half. I'm gonna take this slice over here, put it away, I'm gonna just Make some nice slices, okay? Follow me so far? Okay. There we have some beautiful orange slices. Now during service time, remember we talked about that swagger? I want you to impress your guests at home. These are very simple, easy things. All I do here is I literally phase them, one in and one out. See that? Okay, so I've given my orange this little zigzag effect. And what that does is it makes it easy for me to grab it. Um, we talked about the garnish and its importance. The way this drink was garnished uh, by the Florentine bartenders was by putting the orange right there in between the rim of the glass and the ice cube so that it would differentiate from the Americano. Um, one last thing to talk about is several Italian historians debate whether the soda water that was inside the Americano cocktail should also go inside the Negroni. I feel like it's a happy addition, especially if you want to soften up your Negroni. However, I will not be adding it into mine today. Herbaceous, delicious, amazing, the Negroni cocktail. Please make sure to tune back in to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro, where I give you expert instruction for everyday consumption. Thanks for staying tuned in on Master Your Glass, my first episode. I'm gonna show you how to make a batched Negroni. The reason why batched cocktails are great is because they're consistent and you don't have to work your ass off while you're hosting your guests. I love batched cocktails. The Negroni is a great cocktail to batch, so we're gonna do that today. 
I'm gonna grab this pitcher right here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a measuring cup. We're gonna make eight Negronis. Why? Because the container I'm gonna put this drink in is about 25 ounces. Eight Negronis, 8, 16, 24 is 24 ounces. So let's go ahead and do that. Ingredient number one is eight ounces of gin. I actually like an 80 proof gin, lower in alcohol, because it seems to kind of agree with all the other ingredients that go inside the Negroni. So we have eight ounces of gin, once again, lightest ingredient, to me that's very important. It goes first. So far, so good. Our next ingredient is gonna be eight ounces of Campari. This bittersweet liqueur is so amazing, so fragrant, and it makes the cocktail happen. There we go. Eight and eight, so so far we have equal parts of gin and Campari. And last but not least, we're gonna have eight ounces of sweet vermouth. Now here's a tip, when the bottom's up, this is a four count to one ounce. So I can literally go one, two, three, four, and know that that is one ounce. I'm gonna stop this at the eight ounce mark. So now we have three equal parts of gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. And there you have it. Now, I'm gonna take these ingredients. I'm gonna give them a nice little stir to mix them together. Now I know some of you at home are gonna say, why don't you use this to serve the drink? Well, that's because it's swaggerless. We are gonna make it with some swagger. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my little cap here. I have my little funnel. We're gonna fill this beautiful decanter. By the way, this is made by Campari, so it's themed. Again, we have a 25 ounce decanter. We have a 24 ounce recipe. This should fit perfectly in our glass or in our bottle. Okay, so this is how you make this drink very simple when it's time to serve it. You have eight Negronis inside of your decanter. Guests come over, fill your glass with ice. Pour your pre-batched Negroni. Garnish with an orange slice. Good to go in less than 15 seconds. Be sure to tune back into Master Your Glass. I'll have a lot more of these tidbits for you. Dot the board.